know, my work is skiing, so it is nice that even if I'm working, I'm still skiing. This year I'm just doing ski touring work. In the past I have worked for BMH doing some heli guiding, which has been a great experience, but this year I just wanted to commit to the ski touring. I try and stay here as much as I can and situate yourself where there's great skiing and you have good friends and partners and a community and, and then you don't have to travel around the world to get good skiing or go on the next best trip. I had five ACL knee surgeries during my ski racing career and each one like was super heartbreaking because I love skiing so much so the thought of sitting out another season was really hard and um, the last time I tore my knee was the last season I raced and I was just so over it so over being injured and putting myself through that I just wanted to step aside from it and the biggest thing for me was skiing for the rest of my life and not for the next two years racing and then you know, maybe not being able to ski at all because I just wrecked my body during ski racing. So that made my decision really easy. And I was so curious about the backcountry and guiding and free skiing that uh, it was a really exciting move. It wasn't something that was scary or that I was nervous about. It just felt like I was ready to, to move on, move forward. Christina, dropping in. We're camped here on the Adamant Glacier. Here. Really sick line just right over here. Drop in, make a couple turns, and then that's yeah, gonna be all time. <laughs> One of the trickiest parts about skiing in the mountains and pushing yourself in the mountains is just reading the conditions and the weather and knowing when it's right to push it and when it's right to hold back a bit. You know, I'm not one that goes and chases around first ascents, but I definitely chase around ski lines that look like a fun time and, and to challenge myself as a skier. I think the last time I was in here was four or five years ago, and even then this line was on, on my radar. You know, rolling around into that basin and getting eyes on that line, right away you're full of maybe a bit of hesitation and some uncertainty, but I think that there should always be uncertainty when you go for big lines because you should be questioning your judgment and continually questioning yourself as you climb and ski these bigger lines. So it was tough work until we got higher up in the line where things had settled out on the steeper face. It was really good conditions. We were able to move quite quickly. Three quarters of the way up, we reached uh, 15 meters of ice. And I'm definitely not one that uh, craves ice climbing, but standing at the top. What's your guys' plan? I really wanted to ski it clean and ski it without wrapping and give it a try. And the top pitch skied super nice, beautiful, dry, cold pow. Made my way to the ice pitch. managed to scratch my way across it. Okay, now I can ski. with what I'm doing. I feel so lucky to be able to play and work 
and live in the mountains. It's, it truly is living my dream. I think like I wouldn't change anything.